Hello, my nerd musician friend. Here is Gustavo Silveira from the Nerd Musician or Musico Nerd if you are Brazilian. And today I want to talk about how I created the Track Torino uh, printed circuit board or the PCB. So this is not going to be a tu full tutorial on how uh, to design PCBs, but an overview of how I, I designed and mostly how I uh, order my PCBs online in a way that I can get them uh, super cheap and super high quality. Okay, so here are some pictures of the Tractorino. The Tractorino is a uh, PCB that you can snap into an Arduino Uno that is below right here that you can see right now and it allows you to control uh, the tractor software. Actually, it's a uh, normal like common uh, USB MIDI controller that you can actually control any kind of uh, software that accepts MIDI but it is uh, it was made thinking on tractor so uh, you have you have uh, already mapped I made a mapping already for like gain high mid uh, mi uh, mid slows uh, filters uh, and you have the LEDs uh, which can show you uh, the gain or like the levels, the meters of your track, okay? It's a pretty nice controller, but let's talk about uh, the PCB itself. So how do I create my PCB? Uh, first thing that you need to do, you need to design your PCB. And for that, I'm using a software called KiCad. So KiCad is a free uh, software which is made for you to design your own PCBs. So first, when you open uh, KiCad, you have this uh, project window where you have uh, the different files in your project. So the first thing that we do on KiCad is actually uh, designing the schematic. So here's the schematic of my uh, Tractorino. So again, this is not like a tutorial on how to do this. But just keep in mind that first you need to uh, design your uh, schematic. So for example, here I have uh, my Arduino and here I have like all the components that I have and I have a couple of multiplexers and bit shifters, uh, which, are, which allows me to increase the number of inputs and outputs of the Arduino. That's how I can, with just an Arduino Uno, uh, have uh, so many uh, inputs and uh, LEDs in just one board. So after you design your uh, schematic, you actually need to choose the components that are going to be related, uh, the physical components that are going to be related to every uh, component here. So I have the components in the schematic and then I need to create, uh, to design the PCB uh, itself. So for example, here we have the file, which is the PCB. So here in the PCB, we so here in the PCB we actually have the design of the PCB. So I have like uh, my multiple components. So I have my potentiometers, buttons, and all of this I put them like in the right place. And after you put them in the place, you need to actually trace to make the traces that are going to go to the Arduino or to the multiplexer. So we have like different kinds of views of the of the board, and on KiCad you can actually see the see the board like a three D version of the board. So you can have a view of the final product here of your board, and then when you are done. With your, uh, with your PCB, the most important thing is that you need to export the files where you're going to uh, send to a company to manufacture for you. Actually, I, I've spent some time uh, in the past trying to build my own PCBs, uh, buying the, the raw PCB and then using acid to to etch the PCB, but it, like it takes so much time, it's so messy, and like ordering online uh, 
from a company that I'm going to show you is like so much easier, so much faster, and it's actually pretty cheap. So once you have like your PCB, and I really hope that I can do uh, tutorials in the future of, on how to actually design the PCBs on KiCad, but once you have it, I'm going to export the Gerber files. So you come here to plot, and here is where you're going to uh, export the files that are going to be used uh, by the company for uh, creating your PCB. So here, what I'm uh, what I'm exporting is the uh, copper of the uh, the top and the bottom. So I have two layers on top and bottom. I have silks. Uh, silks are actually the drawings, like Tractorino, the drawings that I made. Things for you to find yourself in the in the PCB. So I have the bottom and uh, front. Actually, I don't need the bottom, but it doesn't matter. You have solder mask and we have edge cuts. So edge cuts is actually the border of your PCB. So one thing that I changed from my uh, latest PCB, uh, I'm going to show you now in another thing. So once you're done with this, KiCad has a uh, Gerber viewer uh, or yeah, Gerber visualizer where you can uh, open and I already have one opened here somewhere here where you can import the Gerber files. So I already exported mine, so I'm, I'm going to find here for you to see. So here are my Gerber files, which has the extension GBR. This one is different, is the drill files for the for the drill, so it's a different kind of file. And I here just have like all of all of them like zipped uh, that we're going to use later. So you can import this to the Gerber viewer. And now you have different layers here. So let me uncheck the layers and show you them individually. So, for example, layer one is the bottom copper layer. So you can notice here that one difference is that this new board will have round corners. So I took some time to uh, learn how to do round corners on KiCad. So if you see the profile, which is the, the edge of the board, you can see that you have uh, round corners. So you have like the, the, the copper layer, the solder mask layer, legend bottom is the silk screen in the bottom, which I don't have any. So you have a bottom, uh, you have like the top copper layer, solder mask in the top, and legend, which is the silk screen in the top. So this silk screen actually I've done outside KiCad. I designed everything on uh, Inkscape, where I do all my designs, where I design my enclosures, and then I exported or I imported inside KiCad my uh, my silk screen. So the titles and like the drawing, because I really want that uh, the user to be able to just use the PCB without like any uh, external uh, case, just using spacers just like uh, I have here. So one thing that I changed also is that here I have four spacers, but I felt that I needed more two here in the middle. So now I have holes for using the spacers in the middle. So once you know that you are fine with your PCB and it takes lots of trials and errors and I was lucky to do my first version uh, with everything okay, but I have some things that I want to change now, which is like round corners, putting uh, more spacers, and I also changed the footprint for the slide potentiometer. <laughs> because the footprint that I was using, I just found uh, back in Brazil, so I decided to change the, foot the footprint for a slide potentiometer that's easier to, uh, to find. So, okay, so once you have your uh, PCB ready to go, 
you need to uh, find a company to manufacture the PCBs for you. So that's uh, what I want to show you next.